Amazon has opened their Metropolitan Park Complex, which is phase one of their HQ2 or second headquarters in National Landing. To go along with this, there has been a ton of other residential and commercial construction projects. I'm Julie Grandin, your National Landing and DMV Realtor. And as promised in my last video, here's a quick look at the residential construction projects going on now in National Landing. First off, we have the South Bell Street Buildings, which JBG Smith is working on. It's a two billing development on South Bell Street and fronts to Richmond Highway or Route 1 with a total of 758 apartments and retail on the ground floor. Some units will be marked as affordable housing. Each building will have its own rooftop deck with pool and co-working spaces. The buildings are 25 and 19 stories tall. These buildings are expected to be delivered the end of 2024. And just blocks away, work continues on what they're calling Crystal City Blocks J through K, which is another mixed use development. The 26 story tall North Building will have approximately 340 residential units and includes 18,000 square feet of retail below. The South Building will be 27 stories tall, consists of 472 residential units above 14,000 square feet of retail, with a roof terrace on the 21st floor and indoor-outdoor amenities on the top floor. Many of these units will be duplex style and will span from studios to three-bedroom units. These buildings are just a half a block away from Crystal City Metro, and this development is expected to deliver later this year. A quick side note, in addition to all this private construction going on, Arlington is doing a lot to bolster the infrastructure to support all that's happening now in National Landing. Going forward, there are big plans to reconstruct and modernize the Crystal City Metro Station. They have huge plans for a pedestrian walking bridge. I'm just gonna guess that the final design doesn't end up having these benches that you can sleep on in the middle of the walk bridge. Time will tell. Lowering Route 1 from where it is now as it, as it bisects the area and raises cars up above makes it much less walkable so they're lowering it to street level and of course all the mini parks that they're going to be putting in as well as Longbridge Park and Aquatic Center which has already been completed and we are big fans of. Also fronting to Richmond Highway we have the Americana Hotel redevelopment. JBG Smith's plans have been approved. They have also announced that they do plan to begin the construction before the major work of lowering Route 1 has begun. The development will consist of a 19 story building with 636 residential units. This building will be targeted towards younger people working at Amazon or other nearby companies who are less likely to own cars. They do have plans for a three-car pickup and drop-off zone and after signalized intersections are installed at 13th and 14th streets, residents will have pedestrian crossings. It's also only a couple blocks away from Met Park itself. On 23rd Street, there had been a lovely, small, concrete, brutalist style building, like most of Crystal City has been up till now. It was then dressed in a beautiful fabric covering, and this building will become the 24-story East Tower, which will house 520,000 square feet of office space above 15,000 square feet of retail. The 31-story West Tower will contain 645 residential units above 20,000 square feet of retail. And this is at a location where you already have tons of great restaurants one block away. And there will be a shared below grade garage, which will provide 444 spaces. In addition to these new construction buildings, there will be a couple of expansions. The first one I'll note is the Crystal House expansion. Crystal House was acquired by a nonprofit, Washington Housing Conservancy, co-founded by JBG Smith, and they acquired the 828 unit Crystal House apartments in order to preserve the existing affordable housing on the site. In 2021, Amazon acquired the development rights for the site and then donated them to Arlington County at which point Arlington County began soliciting development partners to develop an additional 819 units, with 75% of which to be committed affordable. As seen in the plans, the development will include two public parks and a protected bike lane. 371 of the units will be two bedrooms or more, and at least 102 will be three or very rare four bedroom units. Another large complex being expanded is the River House. JBG Smith's planning to add 1,668 units to this enormous complex. This three large building, 36 acre apartment complex has massive outdoor parking lots, and JBG Smith is planning to use these to add 1,668 units to River House, just about doubling 
doubling the amount of units there. It's right across the street from Pentagon Row, near the Metro, so very convenient to much of what National Landing already has to offer. Overall, the plan will add 124 townhouses and 126 2 over 2 units to six-story buildings, which adds up to about 83,000 square feet of new residential space. About 400 of the units will be for purchase as a condo or townhome, and the rest will be apartments. JBG Smith is planning to preserve 200 existing trees and plant more than 800 new trees to provide more than 300,000 square feet of conserved and restored tree canopy. There are a few buildings in National Landing that were built recently and either completed or nearing completion in selling. The reserve at Potomac Yards, Dillon Condominiums, Towngate North, and the Eclipse on Center Park. So those will have units available now. You can reach out if you'd like more information about those. Give me a call, shoot me an email or a text, whatever works best for you. Now, if you found this video useful, please do like and subscribe. I've got tons more planned for you.